Hey guys, thank you for joining me for this video. Here I'm going to show you how to migrate from the legacy multi-factor authentication and self-service password reset policies to the new unified or converged authentication methods policy in Entra ID. Let's get started. So first question is why are we doing this? Well, Microsoft announced in September last year that system admins will need to migrate the MFA and SSPR policies into one new unified policy in Azure Active Directory, which is now called Entra ID. The original uh, deadline was September 30th, 2024. However, since the announcement, Microsoft has extended the deadline to September 30th, 2025. So there are a few steps to get this done. First step is to take uh, account or review or audit um, your current MFA and SSPR policies. We simply need to go to Enter ID, click All Users, then click Per User MFA. Once you do that, you'll come to this page. Then on top here, click Service Settings. The first step is for us to just take a screenshot of the current policies. In case something goes wrong, we, we will uh, know how the policies were set up so that we can easily revert. So when you get to this page, take a screenshot or take a note of how the policy is currently set up. In my case, in this tenant, we have three methods available to users text message to phone, notification through a mobile app, and verification code from mobile app. The next step is to do the same thing with password reset. So go to Enter ID, protection on the left-hand side, click password reset, and then click authentication methods. You'll come to this page and you'll see a note at the top that says authentication methods for SSPR and signing can now be managed in one converged policy. And this is what we're doing today. So here, just take a screenshot of the current setup. In my case, you can see it's email and mobile phone. In your case, it might be something else. We'll come back to this later. The next step then is to go to the new authentication methods policies, which is located under protection authentication methods. Click this and you will come to this page, the new converged authentication methods policy. As you can see here, we have the notice that um, the policy needs to be migrated. The old policies need to be migrated to this policy. And this policy is the one we are migrating to. If you click on manage migration, uh, there are three states. Your st current state might be pre-migration or migration in progress. So we'll come back to this later. Here you can see the new methods available to users. However, they're not yet set up. As you can see here, enabled, it's all set to no. So we're gonna enable some of these methods. Um, usually, you know, every organization will be different, but most organizations will use two or three methods. Um, not many would use all of them. So we would um, set up three common methods right now. The first being Microsoft Authenticator. So if you click on Microsoft Authenticator, we can click here, Enable, and we can enable it and target all users or select groups. As you can see here, you can select you can select a group if you wanna roll it out to a, to a few users, test to test group, something else. In our case, we're gonna go all users because this is also a test tenant, dev tenant. So authentication mode on the right hand side, you can see any passwordless or push, we'll leave it to any, and then go configure here at the top. In case um, if this is set to no, allow use of Microsoft Authenticate OTP, please set it to, you should set it to yes. Um, if you want your users to be able to use the uh, six-digit passcode from the Microsoft Authenticator app instead of the push notification when they need to enter the number on the screen. So 
uh, there's few other uh, benefits of this. So in our case, we'll set it to yes and allow users um, uh, to do so. Uh, benefit is, for example, if you can't use the push notification and you have this stored uh, in uh, password manager, you have um, OTP stored in a password manager, um, this will like a keeper or something else. Um, this will allow you uh, to use to use um, the OTP from the password manager. So we'll enable it and click uh, save. Leave the rest as it is. Okay, give it a minute. Moving on, let's go to SMS. So we'll enable SMS. Again, you can target it to certain groups. We'll roll it, we'll target all users and click this, uh, leave this as ticked use for signing. Click save. Then uh, we'll set up one more. So let's go third party software or tokens. Click that. Um, this uh, Microsoft, uh, sorry, Google Authenticator, Authy, or any other um, authentication app. So we'll enable this as well and target to all users and click save. Now I, we have set up three methods. It's enough for us. You might want to set up voice call or something else as well if you need it. Um, and then click manage migration. If you currently have a setup to pre-migration, you can change it to migration in progress, which will use policy for authentication as SPR, but we also respect the legacy policies. So for example, in legacy policy, if you have it set up, if you have voice calls set up, but here you don't, you'll still allow voice calls. Okay, now we have closed that and go back to the MFA policies page. What we need to do here is untick these three. We have to untick all of them. Uh, we we'll just need to first uh, refresh the page so that it recognizes um, the policies we set up in the the methods we set up in new policy. Okay, and now you can see here. We have a message that disabling all authentication methods could lock out your users. However, we have set up the new authentication methods policy and change the status to migration in progress. If you have followed along until now, you can untick all three and then click save. Okay, we'll give it a minute, update successful. We can close that. Moving on, we go to password reset policy. Uh, we'll have to reload this one as well. So you remember, so you can uh, update. Okay, great. Now we can untick email and mobile phone as well. Or any others, if you have more set up, you, you, you need to untick all of them. Uh, and which is, you know, you need to disable them. So before saving, confirm that your users have enough methods enabled across this policy and the new authentication methods policy. So you have set up the new authentication methods policy, marked it as migration in progress. So we are good here. Then we click save. Give it a second, policy is saved successfully. Then we go to the authentication methods policy, so the new policy. And here we simply need to click manage migration, migration complete. So once we click, once we select this and click save, this policy will be used going forward for both MFA and self service password reset SSPR. Great. So we have now completed the migration. You can also test this by going through the sign-in flow for your tenant and making and making sure that you can see these three um, authentication methods. Of course, if your legacy authentication methods were also set up to these three, 
you won't notice any different and you'll look exactly the same. However, if legacy authentication method was different, like I mentioned previously, and you had voice colleagues enabled, for example, and now you don't, you're not gonna see voice call as an option anymore. Okay, great. So this will make our lives much easier because we'll be managing uh, all the set, uh, the settings for MFA and, uh, and password reset in one policy instead of two going forward. So if you enjoyed this video, click like, subscribe, and I'm going to be posting, uh, I plan to post a, few, a lot more videos, many more videos on security, especially in uh, about Microsoft uh, products. So stay tuned. See you later.